Hi guys, it has turned out to be an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization down here in this undisclosed swamp on the planet. On uh, It is a Monday morning, January 11th, 2021, and uh, I am Sam Mitchell, and this is Collapse Chronicles. Now... I was going to do this fairly short and not so sweet rant somewhere else on uh, the internet today, but I have decided after reconsidering this article that uh, it belongs right here on Collapse Chronicles. And this is, if, if, if you can go anywhere on this planet, to find one of the reasons to be utterly, completely hopeless about humans. If, if, if you have any respect for humans and, and, and can find one redeeming feature in humans, uh, you need to go no farther than Japan today over to the infamous cove you know, the cove we're talking about, where this tiny handful of, of the most evil, just bloodthirsty savages anywhere on this planet have been operating with absolutely with absolute impunity for I don't know uh, how long uh, back there in the Killing Cove, you know, where they both murder and capture for the whale and dolphin trade, all of these dolphins and whales and whatnot to either, uh, to, to either sell to these clueless morons running these aquariums like SeaWorld and those and and that kind of uh, uh, place, or uh, ju just to you know to slaughter them and you know pack up the meat and send it to the local supermarket. This is you know it was the subject of that Oscar-winning. Uh, documentary. When was that? I think 2009. So what are we talking about? 12 years ago, uh, this absolute inexcusable, complete, uh, inexcusable, indefensible, easy to stop. This would be so easy to stop this. There's about a dozen people on the planet profiting from the the this slaughter of uh, dolphins and whales over there uh, in the cove about a dozen people uh, and despite the the supposed outrage that this uh, documentary 12 years ago bringing this to the attention of the planet it makes no difference if seven billion people on the planet agree with me that this is pure unadulterated evil and that anybody profiting from this needs to be uh, needs to be harpooned. They need to go. They need to be uh, harpooned and uh, you know fed to uh, a killer whale. That is the only place for them is, is the intestinal tract uh, of a killer whale. So you can have seven billion people uh, screaming against this and it doesn't matter that we as a planet of eight billion people cannot put a stop to this indefensible evil horror. And if we can't, as a planet, stop this, 
there is anybody trying to tell me that we're going to take our emissions down to zero, net zero, whatever, that we're going to get off fossil fuels, that we're going to stop using single-use plastics. You know what I'm saying. Guys, if, if we cannot put an end to this, uh, to this easy-to-end, never-ending tragedy over there in, in Japan. There is no hope on any level that the clueless moron, bloody, greedy, evil uh, humans are going to do anything to change their behavior, to see the evil uh, in, in their ways and change their behavior. This, this, this is just uh, an open and shut case uh, of why I am absolutely hopeless uh, about the future of this planet, uh, the future of every one of our f uh, fellow Earthlings, and why I believe that uh, that every single human on this planet needs to be sterilized and we need to go. But anyway, we're just going to read many versions of this story. I just, I don't know, I threw a dart, came, this is how the Telegraph, I think that's over there in England, is covering this story. <clears throat> Fishermen kill meek whale trapped for 19 days in Japan's cove. <clears throat> Fishermen killed a whale off the Japanese port of Taji early on Monday morning, this morning, 19 days after the juvenile mink whale had been pinned into a cove with nets. Ren Yabuki, director of the animal rights organization Life Investigation agency said two fishing boats from Taiji approached the whale, which had been weakened by not being able to feed since it was trapped as bycatch on Christmas Eve at around 6.30 this morning. Quoting Mr. Yabuki, there were two ships that worked together to put a rope around his tail fin, and forced the whale's head beneath the water. They kept it alongside the boat, and it took about 20 minutes for the whale to drown. That is a really bad way for an animal to die, and I am shaking with sadness at what I have seen this morning. Close quote. His organization and others around the world have been calling on the fishermen to release the whale and called on members of the public to message the governor of Wakayama Prefecture to demand that he intervene. So it, it, the, the governor of, you know, where the, the state or prefecture, whatever they call it, where the cove is located, any time he wants to, with a stroke of his pen, can put an end to this. Any time he wants to. Video footage obtained by a drone showed the, the whale distressed and becoming visibly weaker. The whale's body was later hoisted onto the deck of one of the vessels covered with a blue tarp, and the ship returned to the harbor. Uh, Mr. Yabuki says he understands that the whale is now being butchered within a building owned by the town's fishing cooperative, meaning, you know, about a dozen people, and that the meat will be sold at local supermarkets. Taiji has gained notoriety for his annual dolphin hunt, which was featured in the Oscar-winning 2009 documentary, The Cove. The Australian branch of the Humane Society International has also condemned the killing of the whale, uh, saying the organization was, quote, 
saddened by this dreadful outcome. It is soul-destroying to think that by merely lifting the net three weeks ago, this poor animal could have been swimming free instead of being trapped in prolonged distress. Close quote. Angered at the international community's refusal to permit Japan to resume commercial whaling, Tokyo resigned from the International Whaling Commission in 2019 and now permits its fleets to harpoon 383 whales every year, including as bycatch and other fishing organizations, said Georgie Dolphin, head of Animal Welfare Program, uh, HSI. Not sure who HSI is. It's the Japanese Whaling Commission, I guess. Believes that deliberately entrapping whales for prolonged periods under the guise of bycatch Oh, I'm sorry, HSI is the uh, Humane Society International. Okay, Humane Society International believes that deliberately entrapping whales for prolonged periods under the guise of bycatch is inhumane, and we call on the people of Japan to speak out against this cruelty. And my guess, that's exactly what you're going to see is people from all over Japan speaking out uh, about this cruelty. My guess is the vast majority of Japanese people are horrified by this. My guess is that the, uh, the majority of the planet is horrified by this. It makes no difference. The, the this inhumane, evil, bloodthirsty greed. Uh, it, it, it's part of our DNA as humans, and we need to go. But actually, that wasn't even the rant I was planning to have. As I say, that was going to be for somewhere else on the internet, wherever you want to talk about. But uh, anyway... Uh, Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles uh, cannot think of a better uh, chronicle of the collapse uh, than that, but we're going to, uh, I guess I'll just start a new video, and we're going to go to the great state of Alaska to look at what happened with those oil and gas lease sales in uh, Alaska. Uh, oh no, my computer ate the story, so uh, I guess I will have to make that my rant for tomorrow uh, if you want to find out uh, some actual good news that, spoiler alert, uh, they were an absolute failure is what they were, but uh, I will come back tomorrow uh, with the story of what happened with Donald Trump's, uh, one of his last attempts to declare war on this planet, uh, the utter failure of Donald Trump's uh, declaration of war against the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, I'll come back that tomorrow because my little dog says, that's enough of your ranting. And I went to go on a walk on this gorgeous day, and I absolutely advise you guys to get out there and uh, enjoy this gorgeous day on this collapsing planet wherever you are while you still can. Bye, guys.